Hello again, EDF friends. On this video, I wanted to share all the hidden drone locations in Earth Defense Force Iron Rain. Um, I will be making a video tomorrow showing all the weapons you get from these hidden drones, and some of them, actually, the later ones, are pretty cool. And also, if I could ask a favor for you guys, if you guys would give this video a thumbs up, as it took me about 20 hours or so to put together, it would be very much appreciated. But for now, go ahead and grab your phablets, or your PDA, or your speaking spell, so you can follow along while you play with me, and let's find those drone locations together. Alright, the first three are actually located in the practice room, so you want to select your equipment and then select practice. And uh, the first one's underneath this 200 meter sign, not too bad. It's hidden in the shrubbery here. And then the next one is in front of you in that tower up top. Um, I don't know why I took the uh, Prowl Rider, but um, I do change to the, uh, to the uh, what's it called, the Jet Lifter here soon. But uh, there's one up in that tower here, which I'll eventually get up here. Sorry for this little bit extra taking time on this one, but I uh, have to get up here with the Prowl Rider. Um, so the, there was one up here in the tower, which somehow I actually get up here. I'm, not, I'm surprised I'm able to hook onto that. So underneath this uh, pole here. And then the last one in this practice is in the crack, through the crack in the wall in the back there, as you can see out there. Um, there's a drone out there, which I'll show you here where that one's at. Don't worry, the rest of these get quicker. <laughs> Just this first one, I wanted to do it all in one cut. I'm not sure why, but whatever. So I just go through this crack in the wall, and there's a little tent out here, and he's having a little sleepover with his Teddy Rock Spindal. But we're going to go wake him up and save him. So you have to attack the tent and uh, to get him out of there, and there he is. Alrighty. Now let's move on to Mission 1. Alright, Mission 1 is pretty simple. You just go forward, and it's underneath... Just watch these green sign overhangs. It's the second set of buildings. You'll see a green overhang. And behind this little wall barrier, it's right here. Not too bad. And that's the first one for Mission 1. Alright, Mission 2 is up on top of that tower up there. You can either destroy that tower, or you can fly up to that tower and grab it. Um, the reason it's not up here for me is because um, I actually got it um, when I was playing the game earlier. But uh, this is one of the few ones I don't ha didn't or already got, so... But anyway, if you if you uh, destroy the building, it'll be on the ground, so don't have to worry about that. But it seems like the only way to get up here is actually overcharge. So that's what I'm going to do. I fly to the top. <laughs> you, don't, you don't fly too fast, do you? Going vertical. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to try and commentate through all this. Don't worry, that some of them are really quick. Some of them are actually pretty simple, and some of them are pretty tough to find. But um, this one's pretty simple with the landmark, at least. Three, I can do it! Oh, that's close. Oh my goodness, that was close. Okay, and it'll be up here. Um, I'm not exactly w sure where, but I think it's more towards the right side, but uh, you'll see it. Alrighty, on to mission three. Alright, are we on to mission three? Okay, ring around the rosy. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. Mission three. Alright, so this one you just want to go forward to the, um, to the street here. And then you want to turn, not not the first street, sorry, but the second street. So pass the first street, and then fly up to the second street here, and then on the turn to the right, go down this street, and then there'll be a little bit of uh, grass and a, a vehicle here on the road, you'll see. As I fly up here by this tree, and it'll be right here, right by this car. Not too bad. Alright, on to mission four. Mission four is very simple. You just turn left at spawn and it's underneath this tree. Alright, mission five. There is a wrecked ship on the right side here. Just go to the right, um, to the front of the ship here. And it's right here in, by the front of the ship. I was expecting it to be inside the ship, but nope. Alright, now this one you just want to fly uh, straight up high. Go to the right a little bit. You see some buildings over here. And what you want to do is you want to fly past these buildings, and you see like a little um, U-shaped um, thing down here, a little cave, or not cave, but you know, the, what the buildings make a little U-shaped thing. You'll see some graffiti on the walls on both sides, and it's right here, right in the middle. Not too bad. You'll see the yellow graffiti here. Alright, mission seven here. You want to go to the right here, you'll see this large, this large tower. And just keep going straight. And you'll see in the corner of the map, there will be a flag. And underneath that flag will be the drone. 
So go along the edge of the map here to the back corner. And then there will be a little flag with the <laughs> with the little uh, mound here. This is where he held out in the in the war of 19 uh, 1970 12, and he was holding out and he didn't make it. But we're going to come and revive him because he did a good job trying to hold out there. But he placed a flag there. All right, now mission eight here. This one's a little bit uh, interesting. You go to the bridge, turn to the right, and look for this broken bridge, or this bridge here rather. And then you'll see. Um, you get to the bridge and turn left here, and there's like an orange building. And then just right, right here on this little platform, on this orange building, or on this building rather, um, is, the, is the drone. Not too bad. Pretty close to spawn. All right, mission nine. You want to go um, behind you, and it's literally right in the cutscene, which is interesting. Pretty easy. All right, mission ten. You just want to go straight ahead. You'll see some uh, debris here. And you'll see a vehicle here, a bus, and uh, right in front of the bus, you'll see the um, the drone here behind this little little wall here. Not too bad. All right, mission eleven. You want to go to the right here. There's a lift. This lift takes you up to the top if you're not a person that can fly. But um, above the roof or the overhang of this lift, if you look up. You'll see it's on top of this, on top of this overhang of the lift. This is a pretty simple one. Mission 12 is also pretty simple. Um, as you spawn in, there's a crack in the wall there, and you see a light. You see a little light there on the right. It's just right below that light. Not too bad at all. I hope these numbers help you out. So you can always see, like, and skip through the video if you need certain ones. All right, so mission 13, just head to the right over here, and um, you'll have to fly a decent amount over here. But uh, behind this mountain, um, it'll be on the ground here. Alright, yeah, and right by this rock. Alright, that's mission 13. Mission 14. This one's a little bit hard to find, at least I had problems finding it. So you just want to head a little bit to the left here, into this forest. And you'll see, like, a row of tents. And the problem is there's a couple of row of tents um, in this, this forest area, but uh, just look around. Just look around the ground and just look for a row of tents. And um, I think there's a light as well. But um, it's uh, in front of these tents. Here we go. And a light next to it and a few of a row of the tents. You can see the red wall on the side too. Alright, now this is the first underground one, so I'm gonna just double speed it. So the first the first place you can take a left or a right, uh, a Y intersection, you want to go left, and that's where it's at. So just keep going down here. Keep going down here, and there's a cutscene, and then kill these enemies, and still only one way to go. Go down this way, and then there's a trap in that wall usually, but he didn't come out for some reason. And I n knock yourself down, make sure to knock yourself down once there, it's important. And then right here, where you see, well not here, no, not, not this one, sorry, this is, there's a dead end on this one, there's still only one way to go. Um, and then, so you keep going the straight, and then the, the junction should be right here, yeah, here's the first place you can take a left or right, so you want to go left, and then underneath this waterfall, um, there is a drone, and I get bitten. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. And there it is. Alright, now mission 16, this one's pretty simple, you just go straight ahead. Look for this broken bridge, or this bridge in front of you first. And then once you get to the bridge, head to the left, go to the first broken section, fall down, and it is down here somewhere. There it is. Alright, now mission 17. You just want to go straight ahead. I'm using my turbo boost because it's pretty far. And you just go to the end of the map. Uh, straight ahead, and it'll be there on the ground. It's a blue drone. 
Alright, I got to the corner and then it's Three, right there. Two, near the corner. Alright, now mission 18. You want to go to the left? Go down this alley here, take the first open to the right, and it'll be right in front of this dumpster. Alright, mission 19. Fly up to the left a little bit. Look, just a little bit, let's look a little bit to the left. You see a bridge here that's broken. And you just want to fly underneath the bridge. You'll see some uh, boxes and stuff, and there he is. Alright, mission 20. You want to go straight ahead. And you want to go past Mr. Peekaboo, Roly Poly, um, Stompy, Stompy the Stompman, and go straight ahead, keep going, keep going, get to the line, and it is around here by a tent, and he's camping out with his uh, friends, he's making s'mores, and we interrupt it, do a raid on his house, and we find him. Alright, not too bad. 21. 21. We go to the left a little bit here, and we're going to be looking for a gas station behind this big mountain. So, um, this one's pretty simple to find. There's only gas station straight ahead here, so not too bad. I don't know why I didn't boost here, but either way, and there's the gas station. We're counting on you. And you'll see it next to the to the pump here. Right there. Alright, mission 22. Go behind you, turn around 180, and just head to the corner here. And then right here next to the um, little booth or whatever. The hardest part is trying to get over that little sign, but, but we did it. Not too bad. Alright, 23. 23, you just want to follow the coastline and keep going down. And this guy was washed up at sea, so he's going to be in the water a little bit. Just keep following all the way down. And you'll see the corner of the map there, and then there he is. Poor guy. He had no chance in there. He couldn't have swim. Alright, 24. 24 is very simple. Turn to the left, it's right here next to this truck. Alright, 25. Look for the pillar as your um, starting point. Just aim towards that and then go past it. And you'll see um, you see that tall building up there. Just keep heading towards that. And you'll see a fountain in front of that tall building. And on top of that fountain is where it'll be. However, I will be overheated so I will not be able to do get up there. I have to actually jump. I figure I can eventually jump and get it, but I'm like, oh my goodness, I overheated. Good job. Alright, 26. Go behind you here, and just fly to the to the edge of the map here, and then you'll see um, you'll see a bunch of crosswalks here, a bunch of like little boxes and crosswalks, so just head straight down, it's right on the crosswalk. Alright, 27. You want to turn to the right a little bit and fly straight up. You probably have to, uh, I'm going to have to overcharge to get up here. I think, yep. And it's right in a blue tent over here. He keeps trying to, to, get to have a camp out and I just keep ruining it for him. He just can't do it, can't win. Alright, there, you break the tent and you get it. Alright, 20, 28. You want to go, um, straight ahead here. Go past this big tall tower. And just keep flying a little bit to the right. And you will see... You're looking for a crane here. So here's the corner of the map. Turn. So when you get to the corner of the map, the front right corner of the map, just turn left here along the edge of the map and you'll see a crane. And then it's below this crane. Not too bad. It's always nice when they're on the edges of the maps. It's easier to find that way because you can use that as a thing. Alright, now next underground mission. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to the deepest part of this map. So I'm just going to 4x speed this to get through this mission. But it's at the very last 
last trap of the map. And you look on the right side, on the right side of that big pit in the big cave at the end where you're fighting, you know, the queen or whatever. You'll see some spider webs. Um, I, I don't know if it's spider webs or what. It looks like spider webs to me, but it's underneath the spider webs. Yeah, I was disappointed in these in these cave missions. They're pretty they're pretty underwhelming. They're pretty linear and just very short, which is very disappointing. But whatever. All right, I'm just killing all the enemies here in this cave here first. Um, and then I'm gonna go back in. This is I think this is the last. Uh, the last section, the, the yeah, the big boss fight or whatever. But uh, so from the entrance, it's on the right side of this big cave. I'm gonna slow down the video so you can see it now. All right, I guess I'm gonna kill this last enemies first. I got hit so many times and was burning on this mission. I was trying to rush it and I just, oh my goodness, it was the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so right in front of these, this light and this, this webbing or whatever it is. And there it is, 29. Alright, 30. You want to go outside the crack of the wall here? And there's a crane. And at the bottom of this crane will be the drone right there. The Alright, 31. We're almost there. Alright, for this one, you want to go straight ahead, and you'll be looking for a crater in the ground here, past this gas station to the right of it, and it'll be inside of a crater near the edge of the map. There's a tree out here as well, and just right inside this crater. Alright, on to 32. 32 is a nice small map. Head over to this crane. It's on top of this crane. Now, I don't know if this crane always gets destroyed or not at the beginning, but mine happened to get destroyed. And uh, it just falls to the ground, so you just have to get it from the ground instead. I actually lost my, my video footage, so that's why it's not here. Oh, no, actually, I guess I didn't yet. No, not yet. Okay, so there it is. Alright, 33. Fly straight ahead, and you'll be looking for the edge of the map here, and you're going to see some debris on the ground, like a bicycle and toys and stuff here. So head to the edge of the map here, then turn to the left from here, and you'll see some uh, some debris here on the ground, and there it is. It's a little bit hard to find, but not too bad, because it's in the corner, go to the head to the corner, and then head to the left along the edge of the map. All right, 34. Now you're gonna to go to the coastline and follow the coastline to the left again. And uh, this guy, he he gave up on uh, he gave up on campouts and decided to just do a little tea party with an umbrella because it's a nice day. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I have to go and wreck his party again, even though he had some crumpets. But it's okay. He's in a danger war zone here. He should know better. Keep following along the coastline here to the left. And you'll see along the cliff here, a little red umbrella. And there he is. It's like he had a little gas station too, gas gas can he was holding out. Alright, on 35, head to the right here. And fly up. This one's a little bit hard to find. And it's on a rooftop here on the right side. Right there, you see a light. You see a light on that rooftop there. And uh, there it is. 36 is very simple. You just literally turn to the right, and it's underneath the tree. And the problem is, unfortunately, you do have to beat the missions to do this. So, I play on easy. 37, just fly straight up, go straight out. You want to head towards the corner of the map. Alright, head to the corner. And then you'll see a little courtyard here. And there's a little bit of... little as a sign in a broken toy ant here, next to the stop sign, and it's on the ground there. I didn't... Ha I had it because I lost my video footage. 
These are where I lost my video footage of three of them, unfortunately. But 38's easy, turn to the right, fly up here, you see a light, and it's underneath the light. Yeah, I lost about an hour of work here because I realized I wasn't recording, and uh, so I had to redo it. It's underneath this, underneath this light here. 39, just fly straight ahead, you collect all these gems, and it's before the last gem, there's a burning bus. And uh, you go past the burning bus, this is the burning bus right here, and then it's behind it by this little bus stop. Mission 40, you turn past the first street, go to the second street, when you're turning left, and let's go all the way down the second street, and uh, it's near a gas station here on the left side. Right here. Why have defense priority levels in the first place? You see All right, 41, another cave mission. This mission you have to find three different caches, little uh little like supply caches. In the first supply cache area, um, I almost killed myself because it seemed like an easy you still take the full damage. Um, on the first the first uh, cache location where you see those uh, yellow marks, the first yellow mark, inside of that room on the right side there's a little cage. Inside that cage is the drone. Alright, 42. Turn to the left. Follow along this uh, coastline here. Or along the map, rather. Fly up, and once it gets into the open area, go down here, and the first wall on the right side here just has the yellow graffiti. It's right in front of this, right in front of this wall here. Alright. 43. Turn to the right. Go behind you. And underneath this... Uh, tree here. You'll see it. Not too bad. Alright, 44. Go to the verbena. You're facing it. Go, just go to the back of it. And you will see, like fly past it, fly past here, go overboard, jump on this jet here, and underneath, between the two jets, She has to cut away there. And then underneath this other jet down here is the drone. Pretty simple. 45. Desert. Turn to the right. Look for this big tall tower as a landmark. And then go on the left side of it. Go down this alley here. And once you get to the edge of the map, turn to the right. And then you will see it along this building behind the back here by a light. Alright, we're going to head back to the Verbena. So fly out of here, and then fly up, and underneath this uh, gun thing, or whatever it is, fly up to the top, it's right underneath there. Not too bad. Alright, 47. Head to the right. And you want to head out to an opening here, you'll see like an open square. And it's right, look for those four circles of grass, and it's right there in the middle of that. Alright, 48. 48's very simple, it's just straight ahead. Um, you see trees right in front of you? Right there, not too bad. Alright, 49, just fly straight out past everything, and just there'll be a gas station again. It'll be between two cars that are in front of the gas station. Pretty simple. I love this Sigma Sphere. I took two Sigma Spheres to, to complete this mission on easy, a lot of them. Because it's just recharge in the background and high damage, homing, good range. Alright, 50. Straight ahead, underneath this bridge, on the left side. Underneath his tent. At least his, he should try to do his camp out again and I wrecked the party. Alrighty. On to 51. This is. Just want to fly straight ahead here on the right a little bit of this gun. Down down below. And you'll see it right here. Pretty simple. And then last of all, turn to the left, this crashed ship. Go all the way to the left, to the back left corner. And next to the jet, it will be on the ground here. Alright, with that, you should get the trophy pop-up once you get to the results screen. And uh, like I said, that'll be all your weapons. The weapons get better as you play, um, more and more. So, um, 
I'll show you a video tomorrow if you're watching this in real time as if it's worth it or not to um, go through all this hassle, but uh, pretty cool. Um, thanks a lot for watching, and once again, um, if you would uh, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, I'd appreciate it. And uh, remember, Edith doesn't leave a man behind, ever. And if you're interested in ways to support the channel, please consider hitting the join button next to the subscribe button, or uh, watch a few ads, or share the channel with someone as it does help financially, and it's very much appreciated. Thanks a lot. And gently use Teddy Ruxpin says hey. And next time I promise I won't have a creepy outro video. Hope to see you in the next one.